Hello, welcome to HDL, High Definition Living. Today, we are going to show you our iLife applications for iPad, iPhone, and Android. In this session, we'll teach you how to program iLife using iLife Editor software. After you install your application in your iPad or iPhone, we can open the software iLife Editor software. After you open the software, you can create your project. We can call it demo. Create the project. Now you can see that iLife Editor demo projects have been opened. Here we can easily select the rooms if you would like to create mini rooms room number one, number two, number three, number four. As you can see, I've just clicked the room list is here. I can even modify the name if I would like to modify the name here. I can put master bedroom, kids room. If I would like to change, I can change the name. This is a, a pop-up, just say that there's no any device in the room. I can put here a child room or kids room and so on. I can change the pictures by pressing here. I can select any pictures from this uh, existing uh, uh, icons. So for kids, we can keep even this or this. Now let us go to the room and add devices. Let us see in my master bedroom, I can go to device here. I can see that I have one air conditioning I have a curtains, I have a lighting, and I have, let's see, a projectors or media or whatever. Yeah, background music. I have a Z audio. Let us start programming a lighting. To program a lighting is very simple. We just add here a couple of light, like I have a spotlight, spotlight one, I have spot light 2 I have uh, cold light and so on so now I create my three circuit light three channel light I just click on spotlight here when you press spotlight I have to define the address of my dimmers uh, uh, my dimmers here it's 110 channel number one uh, I can it on 100% and here there is a type of load is it a dim or on off if it is connected to the dimmer you select dimmer if it is connected to the on off switch I mean the relay you can use a switch I'll show you later on the difference between dimming and switch it's a different icon pop up on your uh, on your iPad applications so I'll use this added as a dim I have to save that here I have one uh, example uh, 18 channel number 4 it's on off I have as well here I have to save this we'll go to the second one curve light we call it 1 10 uh, channel number 2 it's on off as well okay so here we go now we program our lighting in master bedroom We'll go to the air conditioning. The air conditioning, I need to, to configure the, 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 the address of my DLP in this room. So I can say here we have, I can put any names just for uh, a tax or remark. I, I have to select a modular or module control as well as the IR if I'm controlling through IR. So I'm using here a module control. Our submit ID is one device number is eight and let's see if that here I have a curtains as well I can select some of my curtains I can say roller here we go here we can select the address of the rulers 25 1 25 as well I can as well here say multi line so easily for me to program this lines 250 or 25 sorry here I can put one okay, 
just to make it more faster this is a channel one channel one channel one first button i need on second one i need off and the third one is off as you can see now i finish programming my curtains i go to the background music the background music i will say music submit id is one device id uh, really I'm not sure I can go to here and scan my network I can scan my network here to double check my Z audio As you can see here, my Z audio. Mm. Yes, it's 120. It just. Okay, when I press here in the music, as you can see here, my music it's 120. You can see here that enable Z audio playlist. The Z audio playlist, you have to drag the playlist from the Z audio list and this is available in the SD card let us go through uh, the SD card I can just go to my SD card as you can see here you first of all you have to go to your uh, uh, folder and show all the hidden hidden file in your folder options view folder options go to here and please say show hidden file and folder you can see there is a media playlist here you just simply you need to drag this file here you can enable this and start drag the playlist when you start drag this playlist you will be able to see the playlist in your ipad when are you playing that's it audio so after you drag all the playlist you close this you say save now I will be able to see my playlist in the iPad so here we go now we control uh, uh, I can control lighting air conditioning curtains background music see how simple and easy and fast we can program our iPad here we have some things to do uh, with access access if you have a IP cameras we have as well here a temperatures if you would like to to get the indoor or outdoor temperatures you can just uh, uh, pull the temperatures from one of the DLP if you, you you use the option of broadcast the temperatures uh, we go back to home still I can show you as well if we have some TV or any other uh, product or even scene uh, TV how to program TV you can see here we have on off menu info input and source this all universal switch in your IR emitters you just need to put the IR emitters address and you put the universal switch of your TV as if you would like to control the TV or projectors or any you can simply as well uh, press here to see the on up channel down channel you just need to add the universal switch uh, if i'm sure my universal switch here is i'll double check if i have the ir emitters uh, address our 18 one ir emitters our ir emitters is 141 i have one here in my networks 141 i'll just need to put one 41 and I have to check what is the universal switch of channel app so I add it and I say on and now I'll be able to control my my TV a channel app from this application uh, you can try it by yourself as well uh, we go to scene scene we have to create like all on to turn all the light on and off so whatever you press here you can add some targets here like four targets to turn all the light off I'll just program some lighting like 10 118 
one as we are eating it's single channel light single channel light single channel light here I have address number one address number two and address number four here I put zero 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 so I'll be able to turn all my light off if I press this button I can create many many buttons in a scenarios here we have one more options here we'll go back to lighting uh, this kind of buttons here it's pop up in the top I can also say all on I can add it and I can say also all off if I would like to add more I can add more like all 50% percent uh, scenario one scene two scene three whatever uh, simply when I press all on I can say that all will be on uh, I'll go to off positions I have to make this target zero parameter two is zero okay here we go now let us see how we uh, we upload our projects uh, uh, simple projects to our iPad uh, simply you have to go to the iPad you go to iPad uh, applications you open it when you open the iPad applications you can see that there is in the right side corner here there is a sitting button you can press the sitting you can read the address of your web service and I can open one web same uh, network it's the same routers to be on the same range of IP I'll open the browser I will write the IP address showing on my iPad 8080 here we go you will get this uh, page now you need to upload to see that I don't have nothing on my iPad right now I'll just open choose a folder go to find out your iLife editor uh, folder here go to zone and from zone you have to drop all this upload all these files guest one by one we go and you can close your page refresh we complete uh, uploading all the files to our iPad applications you just you need to restart your applications and turn it on again you see here I have master bedroom kids room guest and study if I go to master bedroom, you can see here I have air conditioning, curtains, light, music, TV control, and scene. We'll go to AC. You can see here my AC status is off. I can run our AC. Now our AC is on. I can change the temperatures, change the fan speed if I would like to control the fan speed, and if I want to control the modes, heat, fan, or auto. Cool as well. Our current temperature is 26. I can go to uh, a curtains. Curtains, as you can see, I got the rollers here. I can close, open or close, stop, close, stop. I go to light, lighting. You can see I have all off, all on. I have individual control dimming up to 15% I can dim up I can turn on some other lights this is the the difference between dimming and switching if you use a switching command or switching option you will be able to get this icons if you get a dimmers you will be able to see this level control I can say all off all on see how fast the lighting commands off 
on we can go to music music you see here I have our playlist I'm selecting SD card I have my playlist in my playlist I can see here the tracks I can select one of those tracks and I say play I can change the track you can change the playlist I get the tracks as well here and I can play with the volume or I mute volume mute volume change the track from here go to the next change change and I can stop can change to another playlist I get the tracks here Uh, we have our TV controller as well interface. You can see there is a, a TV control or projector or any IR uh, device. You can add many like media or uh, amplifier, uh, projectors, whatever. Uh, here you can see this is a full uh, remote control. You can volume up, down, mute, change the channels, change the channels over here, up, down, on, commands, menu, as well as on, off, commands. We create some scenario like all off or all on. Now it goes all off. It's by mistake here it's on, but it's for all off. We can go back here and say all on. Go to scene and call it all off. All off. This is all about uh, uh, iLife uh, uh, applications. You can still have this icon here in the left side and the right side. You can just press this uh, icon, and you here you can set up your remote control. The remote control, when you uh, uh, upgrade your IP interface, you, you configure the, the server address and the project name uh, and username and password, you will be able to control your, your project uh, from outside uh, uh, the country or outside the area. So you will be able to control remotely from outside. That's a very simple process here. Uh, you can uh, go to uh, uh, how to configure the IP, uh, IP, IP interface uh, 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 program and you can see how we set up the IP interface. Uh, HDL, they are offering two address, two server address. Uh, it's no need to use uh, DYDNS or, or static IP. We are providing two static IP that can be uh, uh, easy to, to, to use and it's a free uh, as well. That's all about the uh, iLife uh, application. I hope you enjoyed the video and we get a good understanding. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.